Hey everybody, we are back out here once again. And uh, we got the spinning rod out now. We got the uh, code 13 or code white by 13 fishing. Uh, we got the 10 pound test Berkeley Trilene with the little white and red jig head with the brand new strawberry pink two inch DS Minnow by Doc's Lure Company. And we're gonna throw this around hopefully to catch either a big old bluegill or maybe a crappie. A crappie would be pretty nice. I've heard people been catching the crappie here recently. So we're going to throw this guy around, do a little bit of jigging around this brush pile mainly is where we're going to target. come out of nowhere so that's my that might mess with us a little bit here we're gonna come over here on this side so kind of face you guys away from the wind so it might have a little bit better sound quality this around the brush pile here for a little bit I've been told for a good probably two years that these type of pink colors these bright pink are good for crappie and we're out here right now we're going to test that theory and we're going to fish around for a little bit. There are crappie in this pond, but it is kind of muddy right now. So we've got a couple things going against us. It's cold and muddy, but at least we have water to fish. Yesterday and the day before, we didn't have much water to fish, if any. Yesterday, we only had probably 15 feet of water to fish, if that. Probably not even that much. So today we have a good, probably at least three quarters of the pond unthawed. So we should be able to do a little bit more fishing here today. I'm also thinking about doing some coyote hunting here pretty soon. If you guys are interested in me doing some coyote hunting, uh, let me know down in the comments and I will try to do some coyote hunting here pretty soon. I think it'd be kind of fun to do. Haven't done a whole lot of coyote hunting specifically for coyotes uh, I did a couple of days after turkey season ended last year uh, mainly because I already had killed a coyote during turkey season so I just tried to kill another one but didn't work out and of course when you're deer hunting you're always trying to kill coyotes when they when they come by Ooh, is that a bite that sure did feel like something. It could have been a piece of grass, though. I don't see nothing on my bait, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the neighbor's dog is over there barking. Howling, barking. Hard to say what it's barking at. But hopefully we'll be able to do some coyote hunting here pretty soon. That sounds like a lot of fun. We've got a new coyote call, but we haven't really been able to go and test it out because that whole polar vortex or whatever it was came through and we didn't really do anything after that came through just get we got wood and got back in the house that's pretty much all we did because it was too cold to really do much of anything else so now that it's kind of warming up a little bit we might be able to do a little bit of coyote hunting maybe might also do some squirrel hunting before squirrel season lets out let's start he has i don't really know i haven't we haven't really done a whole lot of squirrel hunting this year. I don't know if squirrel season is out already or not. I might have to check that. I know deer season's out. I'm pretty sure rabbit season is out as well now, which we didn't do any rabbit hunting anyway. And I only seen one rabbit the whole time we were deer hunting. That was it. I could have shot it if I wanted to, but I didn't. Right in here was where I caught my first fish of the year on a green pumpkin 
1.5 inch swim bait by Doc Sewer Company right in this area so I'm thinking with this kind of half dead grass then bluegill and crappie might be hanging around in it hopefully I just got to get one of them to bite my bait that's where the tricky part comes in because it's cold and they're sluggish and they don't want to move have to pretty much just force them into biting right now the way the weather is there's a lot of water coming into the pond down at that end there's a lot of water rushing out you guys can see that here a lot of water rushing out so you guys can, let's go over here and i'll show you guys the out where the water is going the water goes all down through there there's a natural creek that goes through there but we have the water rushing in that shows you there how much water has come through last night this was all last night it was not raining when i went to bed it was raining a little bit when i got up so that kind of shows you there how much rain has fallen in the past couple days or actually the past couple hours really because when i went to sleep it wasn't raining and when i woke up it was just getting done raining so that kind of shows you how much rain fell made the water quite a bit muddy certain I'm, I'm almost certain that if I can that sounded like a deer might be a deer back in there somewhere I wouldn't be surprised I came through there yesterday when I was getting wood and uh, seen a crap load of deer tracks so I would not be too surprised if there was a deer back in there somewhere hiding cuddled up in that brush trying to hide from the cold wind and the rain i wouldn't be surprised but trying to catch fish right now getting ready to go back in and make another video i'm actually trying to make three videos today i have around 32 minutes of video time that i can use to my advantage i've already made a 13 minute video i think it was right here it's already a seven and a half minute almost video uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a shorter video here just because this is not really an in-depth episode It's just kind of me fishing um, And we're also going to try to do a video. I think we're going to do a video on a jig. I talked about it in my last video I think we might do a video on a jig instead of a drop shot because I think with this muddier water. I mean, let's Right about there. So we got a probably about eight inches of visibility with something white you know with something darker it might be a little bit shorter with something more natural looking it would be a lot shorter uh you know that's how i always see it you know if you if you have a white rod and you stick the rod tip down in the water and you can see it so far down you know even though it, you can see it that far down it does not mean that the fish can see it that far down because they're they're in that water all the time and being in that muddy water constantly can mess with your eyes i'm sure and probably won't be able to see a whole lot so i think a jig will probably be better i'm going to take a little bit more of an aggressive approach with this cast i think we're going to go ahead and cut the video off after this cast because i don't think we're going to catch anything on something this small even though it's such a bright bait i don't think we're going to catch anything on it because it's so small so i think we're going to go ahead and cut it off right here so thank you guys for watching Keep in touch because I'm getting ready to post another one after this one. Bye.